Dun 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 Hi! That was my lame attempt at a cool beginning of my videos. Sorry about the lighting. I don't know how to fix it. Like, this is off and it looks way too dark. This is on and it's way too bright. But whatever. That's not what I'm talking about today. Today I am reviewing the Forever Song by Julie Kagawa. The third installment in her Blood of Eden series. Technically I think it's the fourth installment because many people fail to realize that she wrote a sort of prequel short story to this whole like plague that happens in this book. It's um, in an anthology called Till the World Ends and I believe the short story is called Dawn of Eden or Dawn of... I think it's Dawn of Eden. I'm not too sure but it's not hard to look up. Anyways, the Forever Song. I really liked it, but I should not have read any of the reviews before reading it because people don't know when to not spoil things, and I'm not going to spoil anything now, but I just, reading all the reviews, you'd think people would just talk about how good the book is, why it was good, but not revealing things because no one likes a spoiler. But so many people spoiled the book for me, so it was like I already knew what was going to happen. So I was kind of just anticipating those moments, and that took some of the enjoyment out of it, which was unfortunate. But outside of that, I can see how good of a book it was, because a lot of people who wrote reviews, and I agree with them, said that the because there's a lot of traveling in this book, and traveling can become very tedious because it's you're pretty much doing the same thing and not much is changing but Julie Kagawa found ways to make the traveling interesting by having all these different traps set up by Saren and it was really well done. I probably should have said a little blur about the Forever Song. Um, in the Forever Song, Ali, our main vampire, is going along with her father figure Canaan, Canon. I'm not sure how people say his name, I say Canaan, um, and her blood brother Jackal. They are on a journey to stop the psychopathic vampire Saren, who is planning to destroy the world and wipe out the world with a virus that he created and is going to unleash on Eden, the place where Ali in the first novel brings the human companions that she was trying to save. So it's very personal for Ali. It's very personal for all the characters, really. And I like that it was personal. I like that what, <coughs> excuse me, I like that the traps and things along the way were specific to the characters and really affected them deeply, not just like a random mess and gore. It really affected them in specific ways because of what, how Saren would set something up or something he would leave in a message and it was so disturbing but it was really well done and I applaud Julie Kagawa. I always applaud her. Her books never fail and then at the end of it, little surprise, not surprise because everyone knew it was going to be there but a sneak peek of her new series coming out in October I believe of Talon. And I just actually read the first chapter of Talon online, and that was really good too. I actually preferred it more than the sneak peek that was in the book, but I'm sure it'll, the whole book will be great. <laughs> I don't, I don't doubt it. Um, yeah. So it is the spectacular conclusion to the epic dystopian trilogy that was the Blood of Eden series of Julie Kagawa. Everything ended as it should have. It was pretty satisfactory, albeit sad, but it's a book about the post-apocalypse vampires like that are actually vampires, so not everything's going to be a happily ever after the exact way you want it with everyone there in the end, you know. So for this series, it was the best ending it could have gotten. And 
and I think everyone was pretty pleased with it. I know I was. So, if you haven't gone out and bought it yet, go buy Julie Kagawa's The Forever Song.